Beautiful Sag. Good morning, everybody. Hope you're doing fabulous, Sag. I got my master manifester mug here on the go. Guys, what are you manifesting? What are you trying to manifest in your life? Money, love, peace, harmony. What's going on, Sagittarius? What is my Sagittarius is trying to manifest here? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Any placements? Huh. Someone is engaging with fears and doubts. What's going on? Invoking guides, gods, and guardians. Practicing daily spirituality. Healing with Mother Nature. So, Sag, you're invoking your guides, your gods, and your guardians to come help you here. They're telling you to heal with Mother Nature. Don't be afraid, Sagittarius. Your ancestors are telling you to dissolve your fears and your doubts. Sagittarius or someone around you. Sagittarius. Other people, see? Other people. Oh. Ooh. So somebody went creeping into somebody's phone. Somebody is spying. Okay. This is a feminine energy who feels jaded because somebody went creeping into somebody's phone. This is a sneaky link. They're feeling like a third wheel. Now, Sagittarius, I know if you were in a third party situation, you could have found some information out by going through someone's phone but I am not feeling this is your energy whatsoever. I think that it is the third party who is snooping through your person's phone. I do. Yeah. See, this is a person who is very two-faced. Trying to find proof or evidence on your person. I do. They trauma bonded, Sagittarius. This person is in a trauma based, a trauma bond relationship. There is no trust there. This third party is sneaking through this person's phone. Sagittarius, what is this invoking the gods and the guardians here? Gods, goddesses, and guides and guardians. Oh. Because somebody is high and drunk. Oh, left on red. This karmic is tweaking the hell out. Because your person... It's 
freaking out. Keeps checking this person's phone to see if they're talking to you. Keeps going through this person's personal information through their computer, through their telephone to see who they're talking to. They're freaking out. They get high, they get drunk, and they get tweaky. Like they get... They could have some kind of drug problem. And when they get on drugs, they go through this person's phone. They go through their emails. They're into their computer. They don't trust this person. Someone is trying to expose... Trying to get receipts, proof, or evidence here. Hmm. So, is looking like the third party is mad, feels jaded, who this person's talking to. They're creeping in on their phone, their computer. They get high, they get drunk, they start tweaking. They go snooping for receipts. They are trying to look for evidence. They're trying to see who this person's talking to, who this person is dating. Clarify this daily spirituality. You're looking for a higher level commitment. You're looking for loyalty. You're looking for a soulmate. And... Jeez, hang on. Oh. It's someone who your person was dating is feeling this way. They thought that this person was their soulmate or something like that. They were a fraud. Sneaky late, deceptive. Your person is retreating, hermiting, is leaving this third party on red, not answering their telephone calls. They're weird this third party talks to everybody says how what a perfect relationship that they have how great that they're doing this is my soulmate i can feel it i know it but they're a fraud they're a fake your person is trying to get away from them your person is trying to hermit them is not answering their calls is leaving them on red and this person is busy on the phone, phoning everybody. Have you heard from them? Have you talked to them? Have you seen them? Who are they talking to? Your person's like, they're weird. Like, why are they boasting about all this? Why are they talking about this? Why are they digging in and creeping in on me and 
Troll, why do they want to know every detail of my life? Sometimes this person says, I just want to be alone. I don't want to talk to anybody. I feel weird being around this person. It makes me feel weird that they're getting mixed messages from this third party. No, I want you now. It's urgent. You answer my calls. It's urgent that we talk. And then this person calls them. And then they close up on them. They're like, the, you're giving me the creeps. You're giving me creep vibes here. Why are you always acting jaded, acting mad, wanting to know who I'm talking to? Why are you always creeping on me? Why are you always trying to figure out where I am, who I'm talking to? They started locking their phone. Or maybe they left their phone unlocked. Maybe they got their passwords to their uh, computer and their telephone. Oh, are you kidding me? This is a third party who has some kind of drug habit or is excessive. They overdo everything and this like this person wants to be alone. They want to have a chance to think. This person is emergency, emergency, 911 is here. I've OD'd, I think I took too much, I drank too much, I think I took too much medication. I broke my ankle. Get here right now, we need to talk right now. They're creating um, stories to get this person's immediate attention. Like, literally. Yeah, because they're always suspicious. And there is immature, closed mind, reckless energy here. Now, they may have gotten someone pregnant. Or there's children involved here. This is fake news. This person misses the way that you used to have real talk with them. Like not superficial talk, not like fake talk. They miss that, like you could talk to this person day or night. You may have enjoyed going out to eat with this person. You may have enjoyed cooking with this person. Maybe you used to do special things. This person is thinking about it. Between the difference between superficial and real. Like when they talk to you, you would talk to them real. This one is just for like, they're a phony, they're a fake. They just want the kind of conversations they have is just stuff that they can repeat to their friends, stuff that they can brag about, stuff that they can pretend that they got somebody in their life. Well, this person tries to retreat from them, tries to pull back from them tries to leave them on red, like. Yeah. 
Because what they're doing when they leave this third party unread is they're watching you. <laughs> We've got divine feminine and divine masculine here. So actually this third party feels like a third wheel. Because this person is, maybe they're always checking their phone. Maybe they're always on their computer and this one is like suspicious. Who are you talking to? Are you talking to Divine Femme or Divine Masculine? Are you spying on them? Are you on their social media? Are you looking at their pictures? <clears throat> this is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Every message that this person gets, they want to know who it is. They want to know... If it's you, they're breaking into their phone and hacking into their computers. And they are agitated all the time, tweaking to the point of tweaking. They're getting high, they're getting drunk, and it's like, I want you to message me, and I want you to message me pronto. And if I don't hear from you right now, there's going to be a problem. They get mad, real mad. It's a trauma bond. So maybe this third party had some drug addiction. Maybe your person is used to giving in to this person like it's just easier to pacify them than try to explain everything to them but honestly they are watching you from afar this masculine and feminine energy and this person is like calling them non-stop has to respond immediately immediately or they're big mad mm -mm -mm. no they're always suspicious Sagittarius. Your person is used to trauma bonds. They're used to like, they're used to this, I'm hearing. They're used to this type of relationship. They aren't used to like having an intelligent one-on-one -on -one conversation where you're really into them and they're really into you and that is what they miss about you. You guys had conversation like you could talk real. You could talk about uh, events, situations, or circumstances, or just sit and have fun. You could enjoy a drink together. You could enjoy a meal together. Talk about things. Have some laughs. And talk uh, intelligently. They do not have this with this third party. And the third party feels like a third wheel all the time. They're always worried. They're always in doubt. They're always suspicious. Mm. 
your person generally locks their phone. So I think that they may have left their phone unlocked or somehow they got their passwords. Always snooping on them. Sagittarius, what's going on here? I I can't explain why, Sagittarius. You heard me ask the cards to show me your energy. Well, you are. You're healing. You're invoking uh, your ancestors are all around you. So, so far, that's about the only thing of Sagittarius's energy that I'm picking up on. And the reason for that is because this person is still attached to you. Mind, body, or soul. Take it as it resonates. They are still lurking on you. Still curious about you. Still are fantasizing about you. That's why their energy is coming on strong here. Probably because someone is getting right, ready to fight for you, Sagittarius. Someone wants to come out of solitude. Their greatest sex memory is with you. But it's more than just sex. It's their memory of feeling close to you. They're remembering your talks. They are remembering when you went out to a restaurant, when you could just cook a meal and have fun on the barbecue or have a dinner at home. It was special to them. They miss your cooking. <laughs> they miss your conversation. Real talk, not superficial talk. This is Twin Flame. Take it as, if you don't believe in Twin Flames, then take it as a deep, higher level soulmate feeling. You can't shake a feeling. They're dreaming about you. And they've been dreaming so much about you, they want to manifest their dreams into reality. Whoever this third party is, they're unemotionally available. They're just it's all about what their friends are talking about. It's superficial stuff. They're petty, they're immature, they're in fraud energy. They are stone cold. They're always feeling jaded, mad. Who are you talking to? Sneaking around, who are you talking to? Creeping on them. They get high, they get drunk, or they've got some really toxic uh, they're threatening this person. If you don't answer your phone, you know, oh, I broke my ankle, or I think I've taken too much medication, I think I've OD'd, uh, help me, you know, like emergency calls to get this person a call. This person listens to a lot of music and certain songs remind them of how special your connection was to them. 
and they're deep in thoughts about you. Realizing that their distractions prevented them from seeing the potential in you. There is more to this love story, though you cannot see it now. There's very much more to unfold. Someone is threatening this person. I don't care if it's a lover, a child, um, whoever this third party is. Could be family, lover, friends. They're always like, no, I need you now. I need you right now. I'm going to, I think I've OD'd. Oh my God, I think I've broken my ankle. Oh my God, it's an emergency all the time. They're a complete drama king or queen. And... They don't even see their toxicity. This third party is very toxic. They don't even see the damage that they're creating. They don't. Oh my God. It's a drama, a high drama situation. Let's see if we can get some messages for Saj. Love. Spring Equinox. Somebody wants to rebirth something with you. And that's that stone cold energy does not want to release this person. They don't want this person happy they don't want this person getting passion with you and joy and peace and all that stuff you're nurturing to this person your words are nurturing your energy is nurturing this person is telling the truth when they say that the passion that they had with you made them the happiest in their life. This is Gaia. You're healing with Mother Nature, the sun. You're healing. Green man. Love. Do you believe in life at the love? The fairies are here. Earth magic. <laughs> I think that it took a volcano To make this person see what true love really was how much loving and compassionate you were how nurturing you were how you made this person feel passion and not just sex it's conversation it's cooking it's like real talk Genuine conversations and good times. They enjoyed everything about you. I really don't understand why the two of you are not together. I do not get it. Unless it's where all these toxic situations. That's on them though. If they have denied themselves of love, then... It might be that you moved on, Sagittarius, and that there is new love coming in. Something that is healthy, something that is positive, something that is grounded, something that is nurturing.
someone very disciplined and determined to push forward and resolve something. They feel powerless around you. They might be a bodybuilder, but they feel powerless around you. If you are this masculine energy, this person works out. This person is trying to get, like, they're fit. They want to be fit for you. They don't want you getting away. Between summer, and some of you it'll be spring, because spring equinox is here. Others of you it's summer. Others of you it's into the fall equinox that you are going to be receiving this past person back in or a new love situation. Your choice, you decide. This is harmony, synergy, co-creating, a leader. Someone is going to be displaying their staying power. <laughs> Getting a backbone. So be ready for anything. This is true grit. Somebody is going to do what it takes to get Sagittarius. Hmm. Lurking. White rabbit. Heeding the call. Inner knowing. Curious. Spiritual awakenings. Look. Rabbits could be, you could be the year of the rabbit, or this person could be the year of the rabbit. But rabbits signify good luck, you know, the lucky rabbit, right? Love, satisfaction, perfection, love, romance, treating yourself, splurging, fine dining. What did I tell you? Something to elevate the mood. This person's planning it. I bet you Sagittarius likes sweets. <laughs> They're sitting there curious, wondering if you like sweets. They're planning to wine and dine you. They're planning, you know, somewhere where they can have a real conversation with you. This person is guessing what sweets you like? Do they like dark chocolate? Do they like white chocolate? Do they like chocolate with nuts? They're trying to sit here guessing. Sagittarius. Ooh, Easter Bunny! What? Easter Bunny. Peter Rabbit. Some of you it is the Easter weekend sad you may be getting a chocolate sweet thing if they know you like sweets maybe they're guessing if it's someone new they might be guessing
Someone wants to wine and dine you. Serenade you. This is music. Somebody might invite you to a concert or a symphony or a beautiful restaurant where or both. Oh, sad. Romantic. Unity. This person is talking to somebody, planning a strategy. What do you think I should do? Do you think that I should do the traditional thing? Or do you think, should I should I take him out for dinner? Should I? That's what this person is doing. They're plotting. They're talking to people and they're going, what should I do? Should I do the traditional thing? Chocolates and, and, and flowers and a dinner? Or should I do something off the wall? Sag. Oh, oh, Sagittarius. Should we like go to a restaurant, wine and dine them? And then maybe like a theater or go to a concert. What should I do? Maybe I should show up with an Easter bunny. Maybe I... I wonder what kind of chocolate Sag likes. Should I get white chocolate or dark chocolate? Or maybe I'll get some of both. <laughs> Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. The past. The world. This person is planning. I told you, King of Cups. Romance. This person, look at this, Sagittarius. Oh boy. Equal reciprocity. Six of Wands. Victory. Wanting to do the right thing for the right reason. Hmm. High Priestess trying to use their intuition. wants to do the right thing for the right reason. They don't want to blow it. This is high honor, respect, integrity. Wanting to do the right thing for the right reason. Whoa. They're stuck on you, Sagittarius. This could be somebody who you worked with, Sag, or wants to work with you. They're going to work with you. This person's like... Their passion, their passion is here, Sagittarius. I don't know what you're doing to this person, but 
They can't forget you, Sag. Oh. Whoever this third party is, is crying their eyes out. It's pouty. It's feel sorry for me. Feel sorry for me. Very judgmental, very critical. And they're looking at Sagittarius like, I can work with Sag. Hmm. This person is a blood sucker, a financial, like, blood sucker. Hmm. I don't know this person. Yeah, they're obsessive. They're it's a tower here. This third party is doing it to themselves. They're pouty. They, they have play on this person's emotions. They pout when they don't get their own way. This person, yeah, they're gonna end that situation because of it. So the person coming in may be ending a relationship with somebody because, well, quite honestly, it's toxic. And quite honestly, it needs to end. Yeah. Whoever this energy is, there that's an ending, that's a breakup. And it could have been this other energy as well that broke the two of you up. But this person's games are running its course. Hmm. Want a connection that they can work with. So this is like similar values. The relationship that is over here, this person is self-serving. Okay, they are. They, they're in love with themselves or in love with the idea of being in love or in love with the idea that this person is their soul mate, but they're not their soul mate. They might have been a soul mate, but a karmic one, or a lesson to learn. This person is not in love with them. And quite honestly, this person is really not in love with this person either. It is, unrequited love they can't talk to this person they can't communicate with this person not real talk superficial shit but they're like childish they're immature they might be in love with the idea of being in a relationship it was never meant to last 
you are stable. Like, you're confident on your own. You're secure on your own. You have built a solid foundation for yourself. See? This is somebody who just sits and cries and cries when they don't get their own way. They're like, oh my God, four minutes has passed and you haven't called me. How come you haven't texted me? How come you haven't called me? They're always crying all the time. Overly emotional. Feel sorry for me. Feel sorry for me. I don't know how to be alone. I don't know how too much time I can. I demand love and I demand it right now. They're not confident on their own. This person kind of respects that you have boundaries. They respect that you know what crosses the line, like there's boundaries here, okay? I told you, this is someone who has no boundaries, does is always pushing buttons, testing, 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 and they're self-sabotaging. Dramatical, so that they can get on the phone and tell their, all their friends what this person just did to them, how they made them cry, how they made them this. Oh my God, you should hear what's going on. Get the, get the. I don't know. You love yourself, Sagittarius, and that's what makes you attractive. You have boundaries. The situation is burning itself out. I came, I saw, I conquered. They wanted to win this person's affections over you because they were in love with the idea that, and they're in love with the idea of being in love. Is it real love or is it the idea of being in love that they're in love with? Because this person is nowhere in the two of cups. This person, there's this two of cups is they need to reconcile with self. Do you know what I mean? How can you love anybody else if you haven't reconciled with self? This person was just in it to win it. Because you had it, they had to have it. Because you may have shown affection or had a love, they had to take it from you. It's like, it's just one feminine trying to outdo another feminine. That's all it is. I came, I saw, I conquered. Now what? It was all planned. They planned the whole thing. And I don't think their plans, that's three, three, three. I don't know. Told you. This is a sneaky link who keeps spying all the time on this masculine. This is masculine and showing up as the king of pentacles. The King of Cups. So this one is always just spying. They're a sneaky link.
There's the Empress over here. What up? Oh. Hmm. This could be someone who they were married to and divorced. This is like a widow who sits in mourning. Oh, the fuck? Why are they mourning? Who died here? You know what I mean? I oh, don't know. You're just... You're healing. You're... You just stand out, you know? With all the stars that are in the sky, you're the brightest star. What can I say? Because you're emotionally fulfilled on your own. You are emotionally fulfilled. Now, you could have Capricorn placements in your chart. You could be a Sagittarian Capricorn Cusper. This person is like, you, they find you alluring. They do. This person admires you in the daylight, in the dark, with clothes on, with clothes off. They could be like dreaming about you, what you look like, um, you know, in lingerie or a fancy dress. Yeah. Because they see you in like a fancy feminine dress. They see you in like you would look good in black. You would look good in white. You would look good with black laundry. You would look good this way. But they admire you. They admire your honesty. To them, you look good in the dark, in the light. You know, hair done up, hair done down. You know, different hair colors. This person thinks about everything about you. But most of all, they're attracted to your light. <laughs> You're magnetic. You have this strong pull on this person. Hmm. Hierophant. They're a leader. They're determined. They know what they want. They see what they want. They go get what they want. Hmm. This person could be a hierophant. wise, a mentor, a teacher, a CEO, a business owner, a boss. This person is going to romance you. They're dreaming about you like could be a new person as well. But know through the spring, the summer, and the fall equinoxes, people from your past are going to re be returning. Doesn't mean it's this past person, although that's here. But 
this is someone stable. This is someone grounded. This is someone who may have gone through a bad divorce or is going through one. Hmm. It is the lovers. Hotties, you're baddies. What are you? A zaddy masculine. <laughs> and a baddy divine femme. Look at you. Hey? Queen of Wands. There is a lot of magnetic energy here. Told you. What's that song say? I can't. Saw you in a, a white dress. Cool woman in a black dress. Don't matter to this person. Staring at the sunset. My wildest dreams. I forget the, the lyrics to that song or even the name of it. They see you in the sun. They see you in the... This person's watched you for seasons. Staring at the sunset In my wildest dreams They're in love with you. Not going into the past. I want to stay in this positive energy. You've got a secret admirer and you're going to get a message. This person has already visualized what you look like, every color of dress, every shirt, every lingerie, every everything. You're magnetically drawn to you. Someone wants to wine and dine you, have real talk with you wants to go to concerts with you, wonders what kind of chocolate you like. I wonder if they like white chocolate. I wonder if they like dark chocolate. Maybe they'll get one of each. This is what this person is imagining and thinking. This person wants real talk with you wants to wine and dine you. Even if that's a picnic on the beach. Ooh, that's what they got planned. Little grapes there, bottle of wine, croissants, little pic picnic on the beach. Or 
you've already had that with the past person. That's what they're remembering. Look at this big mad person over there. They're a yeller. <laughs> a little freak out artist. They get, uh, they got a weird personality. I shouldn't be mean. Hello, Peter Wabbit. What is the Easter Bunny bringing to Sagittarius? Well, some of you it's Easter, others of you it's summer solstice, and the spring equinox, the fall equinox, and the summer. Take care, Saj.